Hey! Well, you must be Fiona. I am, I am. How are you? Good. Pat Bateman. No, I know. I'm, I've, uh, I'm a fan. You know, I, I really appreciate it. I love your hair. Do you like it? Where do you shampoo? Where do you shampoo? Oh, they gave me. I'm I'm out in Toronto doing a show, and they give me all this stuff for it. Um, huh. And I, they actually they dyed it, and it's all kind of fried. So I appreciate you saying that. Oh, I like it. It's really good. It's like that beach look. Like you've been out on the beach all day. Yeah. Kind of gathering seashells. Yeah. 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 All right, where are you? Are you? Uh, I mean, I know you can't say specifically, but. Uh, I'm in New York City. Yeah, Upper West Side. Upper West Side. Badger's Building. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you'd really like it. Yeah. yeah. You get out so, to the to the beach much? Not so much. I typically like to do a little cocaine and stay inside. You know, take take care of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, man, I uh, I read your book. Yeah. Well, tell me more about it. So, so the truth is, is uh, it's the one book where I had to skip pages. No, yeah. and why? Are they something on the pages or something? I mean, why exactly do you have to turn them and not go to them? I mean, I mean, go ahead, you answer. <laughs> I thought the rat thing was a little fucking much. No. You know, I haven't read the book, to be honest with you. I just, I mean, I'm just part of the book. You know, Johnny Depp never watches his movies. I never read my books. So. I don't watch my did you know that you're? Did you know that you're almost perfect looking? <laughs> I feel like you just want to kill me or something. No, no. Yeah, I don't want to kill you. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to talk about your name real quick. Yeah. It's hard to pronounce. I spent about a half hour trying to figure it out. You know, the easy thing would be to go on the internet and see the actual pronunciation. But um, what's what do you got? What's your guess? I'm gonna say Dorif. Close. I mean, do we want to be pretentious about it, or do we want to? I mean, I mean, it's your name. <laughs> you know. I mean, I feel like I feel like you're pretty fancy, so I'll give you the fancy, the fancy pronunciation, which is Fiona Christiane Dorif. I hope I'm not being cross-examined. <laughs> so, what's the topic of discussion? I mean, I got some questions. No. Is that okay? No, yeah, sure, shoot. Go for it. I mean, you know, I, I'm sure you get this all the time, but... Uh, did, you, did you kill Paul Owen? You know, Paul Allen, yeah. yeah. You know, the last time I saw Paul Allen, I don't remember, but uh, I think it was at Yankers. Or uh, was it, uh, no, 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 Azul's, Azul's, or is it Azul's? And, um, yeah, it's the last time I saw him. I mean, I, I don't know. I heard he went to England. I mean, you don't have any fingerprints or anything like that, right? It's, it's, uh, you know what? I don't, know. I don't think you did. I mean, it's the main thing I tried to sort of figure out. I, I don't think you did. I think it was, I think you wanted to. Yeah. You know, I might be a real human being, but I might not. That's kind of how the movie left you. But you're talking to me now, so I mean, unless I'm a figment of your imagination, I think this is really happening. Yeah. You know, um, we have some stuff in common uh, that I, I think is interesting. Um, so I make my living um, playing serial killers. Right, 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 right. Yeah, tell me more about that. How do you like it? I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I mean, I sometimes, I, I just wonder, I sometimes I wonder why people see me that way, why I get cast in that over and over, you know what I mean? I like, yeah. I mean, it's cool. I, I would rather do it than other things, but sometimes it makes you wonder. I mean, I mean what brought, what, what drew you to it? What drew me to it? I mean, I have a thirst for blood. I have a penchant for cocaine and fancy foods. Have you ever had the peanut butter soup with roasted duck and a squash sauce. That sounds gross, man. That's really good. New York Times called it a delightful little treat. Wait, what is it? It's peanut butter with duck? A peanut butter soup with roasted duck and squash. It's really playful. Yeah. Oh, God, it sounds so gross. 
Oh, those are really cool flowers. Where, yeah, thanks. Where'd you get those flowers? My um, my my director for the next episode got me these flowers that we start shooting tomorrow. In fact, I was just I just got off the phone with them. I was such a diva. I was. They want to like. <laughs> They want to bring me in five hours early before a shot. I was like, hey. oh. it's kind of like uh, yesterday. You wanted to do this yesterday. I wasn't ready. I wasn't totally prepared. Yeah, like, we're uh, we Let's do it in an hour. Man. What was I doing yesterday? I was doing research on you. I'm doing lots of. Listen, I, I just, I just want to help. <laughs> I hope I'm not being cross examined. <laughs> No, you're not being cross-examined. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I did I did some research on you too. It, it had been a while, you know. I, I think I read your book. Um, God, it, might, it was year, it was probably ten years ago or something. Um, and I and I read it because I think my boyfriend at the time was like, "This is my favorite book ever," only because you. Are such a you're such a distinct personality, right? And I, and yeah, I it might be. What's that? Go go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you. I'm just I'm chomping at the bit to tell you a little bit about my own situation. That's I, right. You know, I'm I'm well, I'm in the book, but you know, I'm just a person. I mean, how can I be actually in the book, a person inside a book? I mean, think about it physically, metaphysically. I mean, no matter how you slice it, it just doesn't make any sense. I think this cocaine is sweet and low. <laughs> But, but I have like, a feeling like, if we do enough. So let me let me rephrase my question. I mean, like, your diary. You know, like you wrote mm -hmm. your story, and then I got to read it. I, I felt like I knew. I feel like I know you after it. I mean, it was. Right. You know, it was a real, I think, vulnerable um, portrayal of of a real of a singular person. Well. Listen, I, I just, I just live my life, and uh, I didn't get final, final rights on that book either. I didn't get to say what I wanted to say. You know, they edited how they edited. You know, it's always a battle with the publisher. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, so I mean, a lot of it is true. I mean, I did drop a chainsaw on a woman. She was running down a staircase. I mean, that happened. Did it? And there were heads in closets. I mean, it happened. So. Did, did it happen with Jean? I feel like you really liked the the secretary, your secretary. I think you, I think that was like your lady. Yeah, but I had a second a second altercation with my brain, you know, when my my fiance was leaving a message on the answering machine. I kind of rethought my position on murdering Jean. I mean, shit. <laughs> She doesn't need to die. I mean, some people don't need to die. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you single? You seem now? like you're. Am I single now? Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, I gotta move. Keep moving. I mean. Do you so what's the weirdest? That much? I mean, you're pretty recognizable. Yeah, I'm pretty recognizable. You know, well, you know, I don't. If I don't wear a suit, though, nobody knows who I am. It's really weird. I can wear like a Hawaiian shirt, and it's just blend into traffic. Do you do you wear a lot of color? Listen, who's interviewing who here? I want to talk about you, and I want to talk about your life. I really like that shirt. You like it? Uh, you know what? It's um, a designer. That's why, because you can tell. Well, it's the fit. I mean, you can't... Uh, yeah, you can't take it, right? can't, Pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice. Really I nice. I black under it, which doesn't make any sense, but... But yeah, thanks, man. Mm. I, I bought... I finally bought expensive t-shirts, because I just, I just bought three, and then I just wear them all the time. It's like it's worth it. So, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done? The weirdest? Yeah, the weirdest, strangest, uh, most weirdest. out of. Oof. Hey, do you remember your life? So, so you just you just ignore the question and go and ask me. No, that. no, I'm gonna get to the answer. But I, 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 sometimes I'm scared I don't remember my life enough. <laughs> Uh, my nose is running. My nose is running, Fiona. My nose is, my nose is running. Do you want to know what's right? It's, Jesus, I can't even make any sense right no, now. No, no. Tell me. Yeah, this is. So, what's the topic of discussion? Oh, it was, what's the strangest thing I've ever done? I mean, I don't really know how to define strange. Uh, I think that I had one kind of. I remember. 
I'll, I'll give you like the closest I think I ever got to death sort of. Uh, I was a lunatic when I was like 18, 18, 19. And I was on a boat. I was on this giant boat uh, going from Athens, Greece. It was a ferry. Athens, Greece to Venice. And I was by myself on this boat. And I was 18 as a kid. And I drank a lot. And then I thought it would be a really good idea and like thrilling if I jumped the rail so that the ocean is behind me. This is like three in the morning. And like, <laughs> you know, like, what are you doing? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing with your hands? I mean, well, you're not swimming. The rail, right? So, so I'm, I'm, I, I, I am uh, on the outside of the rail and you know, the Mediterranean's below me and it's three in the morning. And I'm super drunk and I'm going and I'm like, I'm, I'm just walking along the outside of this ferry. Um, that was probably the strangest thing I had ever done. And sometimes I wonder if I fabricated the memory, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Uh, I also sure. maybe is the closest I've ever been to death. And what was, what was I? What was so what would have happened if you fell off the boat? You're saying the boat would have kept going and they wouldn't have known you, been dead. you in the water? Or? 100%. You've just been, so were you drinking or were you yeah, on drugs drunk. or cocaine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was drunk. I was with this Welsh guy I had met named Richie. Welsh guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a Welsh guy. Yeah. Cardiff. That's hysterical. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? I don't know. I tried to fit a cat into an ATM machine. That was pretty weird. A fucking cat, man? What? Yeah, a cat? stuffy cat. Well, it didn't actually go in there. Well, what do you want me to stuff in an ATM machine? I mean, well, just not a cat. Anything else but cats. You know what I mean? I know you have cats. Tell me about your cats. Oh, I got a cat. Tell me, what's your cat all about? What kind of cat do you have? I got a tabby cat, and his name's Potato, and he was just hit by a car last Tuesday. Is he okay? But you know what? Potato's going to be okay. Potato went to the little kitty ICU for two days. You know how much two days in a kitty ICU costs? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna high high ball it. Uh, two, three thousand dollars. Double it. Four, six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. Wow. Six thousand dollars. Yeah, six thousand dollars. Wow. Just for a tabby cat seems like a pretty exorbitant. I mean, what do those cats even do? I mean, they just sit there, right? I mean, it's not like a Siamese that can fetch a ball or. No, he kills a lot of things. I got him because I had a rat problem. Tell I wouldn't say they were rats, actually. They were mice. I had a really bad mice problem. I got this right. Now, why did you why, why did you say rats and then you said mice when you know very well it's mice? You first, you wanted me to be more what? More scared? No, not scared. Uh, I think I associate, I think I associate you with rats because uh, of, Oh, no. Can I remind you, you what I of... did with the rats? Oh, sorry, you're coming at me with a dig. This is um, trying yeah. to attack No, me. no, it's not a dig. It's not a dig. It's not a dig. Um, not a dig at all. Mean? Not a dig. But it was a very distinct thing that I associate you with, with the rats and the prostitute. Right. No. And the no. You, the rats went down. You put a tunnel so that they went. They gave her oral. <laughs> Are you talking about the book or the movie? Because I haven't what? read the book. The okay, book. So you, You're out of I can't my keep mind, talking about man. That shit is gonna haunt you for the rest of my life. I don't read. My my <laughs> my. When I read, my eyes get get watery. I need new glasses. I just don't read. You know, it's not important. No, I'm sorry. Um, I don't be sorry. It's... You can almost skip it. I mean, I figured that you would, you know, you remember what you wrote, but I don't remember a lot of my life, so. Listen, I hope I've been informed. I just can't get it right. But you see, for these clips, we just have to get the clips right. I hope I've been informative. Long day, bit scattered. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah. So you, you went to school in Ireland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me more about that. Uh, I went to I went to college in Ireland. Um, I came back with a fake accent. I lived in I lived in Europe for like four years when I was a kid, and I or went from eighteen to twenty two. And when I came back to LA, 
when I was 22, I had like this fake Irish accent. And how did that play for you? It was pretty dumb in retrospect. I mean, I didn't do it on purpose, but it was pretty ridiculous. Let's hear a little of the action. I don't know if I can do it. I mean, also, I, I, I mean, I think I said lads every once in a while, you know? Is green, is green really the color over there? Is it really, is it really, really popping? Yeah, you ever, you ever been there? No, no, I haven't. It's difficult for me to board an international flight right now, as it's you might so imagine. Rich. They're rich, but also a little too famous. Or shall I say, infamous. Hey, your mother's in a sanatorium, right? Is that right? Yeah. You ever yeah. go visit her? No. Well, like I said, I can't exactly visit anyone right now. I'm sort of, I'm sort of on the run. I didn't see your sequel. You didn't see the sequel? I didn't either. I wasn't in it. Wait, were you killed or something in the beginning? There was like some... I thought you were in it. No. I don't think so. Not me, no. Well, then that's good. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm so, I see. Kidding. I didn't see it. I was like, maybe it's about his little brothers. Because you have a little... You have a... You have a little brother. Oh. I forget. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I saw the sequel, as you might be able to tell right, right now. I'm trying to bullshit, but where'd you get that painting? Oh, really cool. this isn't, none of this is mine. It's like a fake Rothko. Um, Rothko, I'm in, a, right, I'm in right. a condo in Toronto. It's pretty cool. It's got this like weird kind of apocalyptic, um, you know, melting ice painting. I would show you the rest, but you would see how messy I am. Um, and I don't know. Show me the rest. Come on, this is a revealing interview. Oh, look how messy. I mean, can I show you this part? So yeah. I'm in. I'm in. It has this like downstairs. Oh wow. Isn't that kind of nice? That's really. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Have you ever been to Toronto? I, I'm trying to figure out how to like Toronto more. I don't think there's a way to particularly like any place. You just have to wander around, see what um, excites you. What excites you? I think somebody's yeah. looking for me right now. Can you hear that? Can you hear the helicopter? Somebody's trying to zero in on me. I just I I have to remain calm. I get my story about Paul Allen straight. Let's talk about Chucky, because you're in the series, Chucky, and you also have a unique uh, position in the Chucky world and family. So tell me a little bit about Chucky, what it means to you, and what was it like the first time you met Chucky? It's a long time ago. I mean, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been around Chucky almost my whole life, you know? That's why I jumped at the chance to do this, because I feel like we, you know, um, have both been around death our whole lives, sort of. I mean, or when, when, I don't know when it started for you, but, but younger, right? I mean. Yeah, well, it first started with you know, decapitating, you know, animals and you know, stuff like that. Animals, but, yeah. uh, I know, but it's, you know, as a kid, I didn't know what I was doing. I, it's not like I can just kill a full grown man when I was like five years old. So, you know, I just had to use what I had in front of me. I mean, was, did you, did you prefer dogs over cats or anything? No, actually, I preferred turtles. There's a turtle farm in my area. There's a turtle store down the street. So I was just turtle, sort of... Man. Yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't cut their head off. I cut their um, the shell off. Anyway, it's like abalone. No. I mean, I guess I eat... Do you eat everything? I guess I eat meat. No, not really. No. No. <laughs> like I said before, I... I like fancy food. You know. Do you have a cook? No, I'm like I said, I'm underground right now. I'm in a studio apartment in Hollywood, and I'm just kind of laying low. I thought you told you know me you were I mean. in Manhattan. Yeah, Manhattan. Yeah, Manhattan, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm via satellite. I'm anywhere. See, I can't tell you the exact place I am because then you'd you'd find me. 
So I have to tell you New York, and then I have to tell you Hollywood. Now you don't know where I am. So it's a little cat and mouse game. Right. So do you ever get to be in relationships or anything? I've been in a few different things. You know, I like mostly like prostitutes. Yeah. I like to give them their names and um, have them drink Chardonnay and shame them when they're not drinking the Chardonnay. I say to them, listen, that's a perfectly good Chardonnay you're not drinking. Right. That's what I say to them. And then, and then what? You seem to be out of it right now. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you looking at another figure, screen? I'm just trying to figure it out, I guess. Um, Look, we talked about Chucky for about oh, one minute. Oh, okay, I mean, you want to go back to Chucky? I can go back to Chucky. Yeah, um, I want to know more about yeah, him. What's, man, the, what's the guy like? I mean, what's he... Sorry. What's Chucky, what's Chucky like? I mean, when he, what's he like off camera? Kind of a diva. I mean, he gets everything he wants. He gets like, you know, he's like the full on the star of the show. He's like the zeitgeist, you know. I mean, there's everyone's got tattoos of Chucky and stuff. He's pretty famous. Um, so he has an entourage of like eight people all dressed in, in green that help, you know, make him move and stuff. Um, he sounds like my dad. Let's talk about your dad real quick. He's quite the legend. Mm -hmm. You must love your father very much. Yeah. What did you take from him as an actor and just what advice did he give you that resonated in, in show business? Well, esoteric shit, man. It doesn't even make any sense. I mean, he says, he's, he's like, listen, kid, all you got to do is step over the line. I'm like, what the fuck does that? And it's like, yeah, okay, I'll step over the line. I don't know what the fuck that means. It's like, it's the least cerebral thing in the world acting. I don't even know how to do it. You just do it. Um, that's why it's, I it's, think it's, acting schools are the ruse. I mean, the less you think about it, you know, I'm not an actor. I'm just a, you know, just a guy that murders people. Yeah. But the more you don't think about it, I think that would probably make better acting. Like the more you, you're out of your head. Or, yeah, the more you're, you're out of your head. The more you're out of your head. I mean, I guess, you, I guess the cool thing that I like about it that my, my dad doesn't do as much is I sort of like um, figuring out why a person acts a certain way, like what, what, thing happen to them or uh, how they feel about something that makes them have the behavior that you're looking for. That's kind of cool. It's, kind of, it's sort of like analyzing um, human behavior like that. So this type of person with these dispositions might react a certain way that only they would act. Yeah. And then you've got to figure out what that is for you and how it makes sense. Uh, and I play a lot of killers, so I think about I think about uh, rage and um, revenge. I don't. I actually. I think I'm a pretty nice person. I don't know why I can cast. I think you are. You seem a little out of it, though. You seem a little out of it. You seem. Uh, you seem like you need a. You might need a nap or something. I mean, I went out besides your hair. I did. What's that tattoo on your arm? It's really cool. You don't think it's kind of embarrassing? What is it? It's so my mom had this company. <laughs> my mom was like a my mom was a psychic and she had this company and this was the logo of her company. I wish it had been a different and my mom passed, but I wish it had been a different logo. It's very like kind of lame in nineties. I mean it's the New Mexico flag with the eye of the Illuminati. <laughs> in the middle of it, which is pretty dumb. And so sometimes well, people are like, oh, are you from New Mexico? And I'm like, no. I mean, so did they ever ask you if you're in the Illuminati? Yeah, somebody once made a comment um, in, when I was in Mississippi. I've only had it a couple years. Uh, but when I was in Mississippi, someone was like, what? You know. It was more like, who, who, who do you think you are? <laughs> I was like, oh, right. no, my mom just had a kind of bad taste. Listen, Fiona, I really like that song, My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle, It Folds. I, I can't remember the lyrics. I like it when you wiggle wiggle. You know that song? Uh, My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle. What, I, I can't remember the lyrics, but you, you know what I'm talking about? No. My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle, It Folds. Or I like to see you wiggle wiggle or something something like that. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's, the song's everywhere. It's, it's really great. Is it, is it, is it out now? 
Yeah, it's everywhere. It's on those videos. If you look at those, the reels, and somebody always uses a song in the in the background, and they do a little dance to it. Yeah. And I like the. It's really great. Do you dance? Are you a good dancer? Yeah, I, I dance a lot. You know, especially to Huey Lewis in the news or Phil Collins, especially that song. Uh, Phil Collins. What is it called? Um, Phil, Collins. Phil Collins. We just, you just, you know, the, you know, I, I use the, the technique of the, you know, the. The smash, you know, and they kind of smash your feet into the ground. You know, there's just the tip. What is it called? You know what I'm talking about? It's like um, the mashed potato, actually. It's called the mashed potato. You do the mashed potato, and I do the mashed Who's potato. potato, man? That hasn't been around since, like, 1955, right? Yeah, it's a secret. Nobody thinks to do it because, like, it's not, it's not current anymore, you know. But, but, but isolate it on its own is a dance move. It works really well. Is that the thing where you... You move your hands like this over your knees. Listen, if you're trying to make fun of me. No, and, no, no, uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 I'm no, not. I'm I, can, I, can end this. I also think we're from slightly different generations. I'm not trying to make fun of you at all. We might be in sli- Listen, I just, I just want to help. How do you do Listen, I have to return some, I have to return... Phil Collins is great. How do you dance? Yeah, bald no, I feel like it's like a sway. It can be a sway. You can relax and sit with it, but there are some songs that cook, like Sissa Sidio. Sissa Sidio. Sidio. That's Phil Collins. No, no, it's really great. Did you watch the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah, she's quite a quite a psycho. But then again, he's no. Uh, I think they're both. Awesome. I was just about to say he's he's no he's no big cake, you know what I mean? He's he's no frosted cupcake, you know. He's just a seems to be a guy who likes a uh, big glasses of wine. Do you you drink a lot, right? I drink, yeah. I drink a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I mostly like cocaine. I like the kick it gives. Yeah. How old were you when you first started? Cocaine. I think it was about 12. Yeah. Who got it was, you into uh, that? It's young. A janitor at my high school. I was in high school when I was 12. <laughs> oh, yeah, you went to you went to Exeter, didn't you? No, no. Or as I like to say, Exeter went to me. It was a great school. Mm. Love the uh, merchandise in the bookstore. It's really nice. Was the janitor a boy or girl? It's a boy. Do you like boys? Listen, I just want, I want to talk about Chucky some Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, Chucky. no, I'm happy to talk about Chucky. You Chuck. keep getting out of it. I mean, I know you play serial killers, and well, you're in the show Chucky. Yeah, I'm in the show Chucky. Um, Chucky's pretty popular. We, we're a hit. We're a hit show. Um, we got great ratings last year. Uh, I, I also played Charles Lee Ray, who's a pretty famous serial killer. Um, and, uh, I played him last year in four scenes and one fun tidbit about this is that Charles Lee Ray was my dad, right? Um, so my dad... Wait a minute, I'm, I'm confused. Your, your dad was Charles and you played Charles? Yeah. So my dad originated the role in 1986. 87? 86. So, somebody will correct me. And when he was 34, 35 or something, and uh, I look a lot like my dad from my nose up, just like the forehead. That's very broad, Dara. And so they were doing flat, they did they did flashbacks on like the creation of a serial killer in, in season one, and they had the idea that I play him and I thought it was I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, great. They had to pay me twice, which was cool. Uh, and I I'm in four and a half hours of prosthetics the first time uh, they do it, and about halfway through or something, I start to like get a stomach ache, and I kind of can't tell why. And then at the end of it, I looked into the mirror and it was my father's face plastered on mine and so I bec- I like physically became my father 
and I couldn't tear the make I couldn't tear the makeup off. And yeah. I I uh I didn't even think it was going to be weird at all, but it was way, way weirder than I thought it was. I, I, it was, it just, it just felt uncomfortable. And I, I, I started smoking cigarettes again. I went outside and bummed a cigarette and had a cigarette. And, uh, and then in the series, which I take it you didn't get a chance to watch. No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, I didn't you see your movie. You know, I read your book, though. Well, I appreciate it. But listen, that's all really interesting, but you still haven't talked about Chucky. Well, <laughs> I mean, you, you started. Wait, I got one more already. thing. So Charles Lee Ray is Chucky. Charles Lee Ray is Chucky. Yes. Yeah, so Char- I mean, how so? so? Charles, Charles Lee Ray is Chucky. Like Charles Lee Ray, the soul goes into a doll and then the doll's called Chucky. Um, but Charles, Charles Lee Ray is Chucky. And so I, I portrayed Chucky, who's also my dad. And, and the other anecdote about this is that I had sex and killed women uh, in, as, my, as my father. <laughs> they, they oh, my God, you must have needed... My dad's face on mine. And then I had sex with women and killed them. And... Is that just showbiz, or I mean, what is that? I mean, I mean that must uh, must uh, warrant a therapist of some sort. I would think. I think I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Are you in therapy? No, like I said, I'm on the run. You can't do Zoom. I'm just. What's that? You can't do Zoom therapy or anything. I'm doing it right now. I mean, this is this is about as intense as it gets. <laughs> Can I? Did, did, you, did you get enough Chucky, Phil? Because I have a therapist story. Tell me all about it. I had a therapist last year who just got married to his client. Is that weird? Is that a good? Is that bad? Is it? Is it good? I mean, it seems like love is love. Maybe that's right. Maybe love is love. What's the age difference, and how long were they with each other as a therapist therapy? A long time I think I think that they were this is my guess I don't totally remember I wonder if I'm allowed to talk about this okay. what are you putting in your mouth I mean what, what the hell are you, is that a Lego or something I mean is it, is it like a corp to something it's a bottle cap no not really I don't like to mess up my teeth they're almost perfect so where do you tan I don't have a tan no, I do. No, I I, no. I bike around the city and I do CrossFit. You bike around the city and you know, a scooter or no, no. I have like those rental bikes. Those like Toronto rental bikes. Toronto rental bikes. Yeah, you know, yeah Toronto rental bikes. Uh, I just um, do a lot of push-ups. I do some flex therapy. And I like to get in my bathtub, just hold my head in the water, and just kind of not breathe. Did you know that not breathing burns the most calories? That's a joke. I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, I was just like maybe, I you know yeah. maybe maybe your nervous system. I don't know. Was that? Yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's probably the cocaine. No. Yeah. yeah so you eat a lot of Fiona. Coke makes you skinny. I think that's true. Yeah, yeah. it can. It can, but it it hits a point where you kind of even out, and then if you eat bonbons, they go straight to your ankles. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of. Uh, aware of that and I try to curb myself with my sugary desires. Did you ever, you you ever per- in love with somebody? Was I ever in love with somebody? Yeah. Not really. No. I'm sorry. No. No, it works out better for me. You know, I'm usually busy returning videotapes. I don't have a lot of time. Movie. Well, right now, I really like Back to the Future. It's really nice. No. It's been a long no. time since I've seen Back to the Future. No, yeah, Michael Keaton. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Is he okay? He what lived. happened to Michael J. Fox? I don't think he's doing so well, but he's holding on. Parkinson's? I've seen him in commercials. Yeah. He's got Parkinson's, yeah. No, no. 
It's the least one. Yeah, I saw Jurassic Park the other night, the original. No. Oh. No, I never I never got to see that in the movie theater. It seems like the number one movie to see in a movie theater. Yeah. You know what? Did you ever see it? It really holds up. What? Did you ever see it in a movie theater? No. But again, you know what I did? I read the book. It's one of the best books. <laughs> So really you and see, this is you and you, you and your books. You know, you, you're like you yeah. love reading books. I'm gonna die alone. So, well read. You see, I like to listen to my Walkman. You know, more of an auditory guy. Uh, I mean, do you listen to your Walkman at home, or do you get out? I listen at home, and I'm in my limo, or just walking down the street. You know, no, yeah, no. Yeah. And you don't get recognized when you wear bright colors. Is that the deal? Usually wear a suit, but lately I've been wearing a Hawaiian shirt, Hawaiian shirts. just to be more incognito. Yeah, yeah. And I usually wear my hair like this is how I like to wear my hair, but usually I wear my hair down the middle, parted. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's very really strange. I haven't. Say again. Know. Hey, you know what I wondered is um. No. Oh. This might be a, a little personal. Just ask. Anything you ask is fine. But I wondered if you also date boys. Interesting question. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to answer that. But um, let's just put it this way. Cuddling is cuddling. It's <laughs> yeah. nice. So tell me something about you that most people wouldn't know. You know, I'm an open book. Here you, go, here you go with the book thing. You just, you just got to throw a book into every other sentence. Um, oh, I really like relish. I need a lot of relish lately. You like sweet relish? I like sweet relish. I like sweet relish and, and um, gherkin pickles. I could eat an endless amount of gherkin pickles. Ooh, what do you eat the gherkin pickles with? Nothing. You can just eat a jar. Oh. I have a much sweet. What about the... Now, don't tell me you eat the relish with nothing in there. You just, you know, just put a spoon yeah, in the no, relish. I, I, I do relish with tuna, which is really good. So you get, you get, you get tuna fish and mayonnaise, and then you put relish in it. And then you, and that I yeah. can eat just kind of. I like to stay away from mayonnaise. It has something called grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. Yeah. In tuna? No, no. No. No, not in tuna, not in tuna, in mayonnaise. Mayonnaise has grapeseed oil in it. In it? What is That's mayonnaise? Right, yeah. It's it's egg. What is it? It's oil and, and an egg yolk. And, um, the white or just something else? Vinegar, I think. Right. The white is the, white is the whip. I think the white is um, also the grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil, huh? So you you had you had servants your whole life, right? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. But you still. It caused me to go ahead. But you still cook. You still cook now. Are you asking? Are you asking me if I cook brains or human being? Uh, I don't want to gross you out, but yeah, I do. I mean, I, I, I can handle, I sort of can handle that. I can't really handle turtles or cats. Can't handle cats. I was just kidding about the turtles. I don't really, really do anything to turtles. You don't, right? I just, just made that up to seem a little more, you know, pushy. I get it. I get it. So what do you do with your time? I mean, when you're not filming Chucky, I mean, what do you do? Don't tell me read. <laughs> Don't tell me read. <laughs> um, you know what I do? I sometimes I wonder if I live like a retired lady. I take class. I take classes for just like I take one class a semester just at like a city college or something. Um, but it's cool. You get to like learn about something. It takes a very little time, but that's cool. I just graduated macroeconomics, so I know a tiny little bit about the Federal Reserve, which was cool. I actually really like it. And then I went on a date last night. I went on a date. Um, 
I I sometimes read. I try to write. Now tell me about your, hold on a second. Tell me about your date. Oh, Seems to be kind of a juicy topic. I know. Um, Who is this guy? How'd you meet him? Is he a gaffer on the set or who is he? No, he's not a gaffer on the set. Um, I, I met him on the internet.com. And uh, he's, a, he's a chemist. Another guy that reads books. I don't know if he reads books. A book books. guy. Well, you have to know chemistry. I mean, there's a lot of books. A lot of books to learn chemistry, from what I understand. I mean, yeah. usually I just listen to my Walkman, but... Um, did you ever take what I understand. class? I mean, I don't think I... I don't even know if I did in high school. I took all those classes, and I cheated in all of them. I also bribed my teachers. Yeah. Did you get and good my dad grades? Also. Yeah, I got great grades. I didn't learn anything, and I didn't know anything. But I got through it all. What was your favorite subject? Yeah, I'm a, favorite subject is there wasn't a favorite subject I guess recess or whatever lunch or something maybe PE you know? when did you first have sex just curious I'm sorry and you can stop me if it's Brian listen it's no problem Fiona wants to know when I had sex so I'll tell her no it's no problem so Fiona <laughs> first <laughs> The first time I had sex was uh, junior high school. Whoa, yeah. so way too young. Yeah. With a Samoan guy. See, I knew it. I had that thought. Yeah. yeah. It's not important when I had sex first. It's important when I had sex last. Oh, when was that? I'm still having sex right now. Of course, you can't see the lower half of this body, you but you can only is? imagine. Come on. Listen... I just, I just want to help. No, I don't want to, I don't, that's too, that's... Well, you, you don't want to know it, but you asked all about it. It's You're true. asking well, me. Well, to be honest with you, I, I, I wondered if you had some kind of addiction. You had some kind of yeah, compulsive like I said, sexual addiction. I'm into cocaine and things that go along with cocaine. So you think cocaine's the main one and then the other ones are just kind of additional? I think so, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I Listen, mean, Fiona, it's such a short high. I mean, how much money do you spend every month? Not the not the type of cocaine I get. It's a lot stronger than you think. It's actually it's from Czechoslovakia. You remember the banks that used to have those tubes that they'd send the tubes and they'd go underground and they'd come back up. It was almost like a it'd be like a drive through, and you could you could deposit into a cylinder, and then they would. They'd put the cylinder into the little the thing where you put the cylinder. You put the cylinder into the, the thing where you put the cylinder, and they would go underground, up into the bank, and then they would open it up and take out the check. That's sort of what I did with the uh, cocaine from Czechoslovakia. Oh, where yeah, would the tube yeah. go? Tube goes to me. Where does it go from? Yeah. The drug dealer? Like I said, Czechoslovakia. It's a long tube. It's a long way for a long tube. A long way for a long yeah. tube. I mean, that's like, it's under the oceans. If you're still in New York. Pretty much. Not pretty much. You know what's funny to yeah. think about? Is the internet is actually cables strung across the oceans. Isn't that interesting? That's not true. You're making that up. No, I'm not. No, you're making no, it up. No, there's a physical infrastructure to the internet. Listen, so what happened with your date with the chemist? Oh, um... What exactly, what did you do? Did you go to Jamba Juice or something? <laughs> I went, um, we... Veggie Grill? What's that? Did you go to Veggie Grill? No, no, no. I went to dinner with a friend. I went to an Italian dinner with a friend. And then, um, and then I met him in a park. Just to be safer or... Public kind no, of thing. No, 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 no. I'm I'm kind of prudish these days. But no, I met him in a park, well, and he had he had like a little blanket, and I had some wine, and um, we talked. Uh, and he, about books. No, not about I books. I bet you did. Um, what did you talk about? It was sort of a getting to know you thing. And then what was, oh, 
you know what happens is <laughs> this is getting too many <laughs> this is getting so <laughs> but i this is there was this election um last night in california where i live uh even though i'm in toronto and i had kind of i kind of i kind of I'd written something to try to get this guy elected who was who I believe in and I found out during my date that he didn't win. That the guy didn't that Michael Schellenberger did not win his bid to run up against Gavin Newsom. So we talked about that. Sure. And I was really crushed actually, because um, I, I think that he's a good guy. And so we talked about politics, which is a terrible thing to talk about just in general. And I, I want to stop talking and thinking about it. Do you, th are you political at all? Not really. Like I said, I just like to do cocaine and return videotapes. No, and murder people, of course. But do you, do you return? Do you, do you take out videotapes to return them, or just return them? I just return them. I have so many to return. Snacks and snacks. Do you return them one at a time? Listen, I just, I just want to help. So, listen, Fiona, it was nice talking to you, but I'm afraid I have nothing in common with really? you. Really? Well, this is going pretty well. It feels that way, but also it doesn't. Why? Well, um, for one, your hair is as flat as a board. What? I've never seen anything like it. I, I complimented it at the beginning, but uh, it just looks like um, it looks like uh, Chucky's hair. Well, you know, I'm related to Chucky. So it makes sense, but uh, I mean, genetic or not, it's coming from. I'm just joking with you, Fiona. I'm just kidding. What about your hair? I mean, I think your hair looks yeah. great, actually. I have actually the um, facial cleanser I'm using instead of a gel. Like it's sticky for my hair. Yeah. It's not sticky, but there are little pieces in it. It's not very preferable. Yeah, there's like little white clumps. No, oh. I must have a good camera working right now. You can see this. Actually, the beginning is uh, I'm starting to get white hair, and I haven't uh, done anything about it. Mm. Mm. Listen, I wish I could talk some more, but I. I have to return some videotapes. No, that makes sense. Hey, thanks for talking. I'm, I'm pretty lonely up here, so if you ever want to talk again. No, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Maybe we can get our own blanket and sit down and... I mean... Some bad political news. No. Over the phone. Isn't it the worst thing about... Isn't the worst thing about phones is... Everybody's giving you bad news. Yeah, that's what happens. Like you can't I got keep bad it. news. It might have ruined the date. Oh, wait. One more anecdote about the date. We were supposed to meet by bikes, and his bike got stolen immediately before the date. Is that right? It wasn't you. Was and it? he wasn't... Listen, I have more important things than stealing books and bikes. You can read listen, your book. Your book is really listen, good. It's a masterpiece. Well, it's nice of you to say, but um, like I said, I haven't read it. And um, maybe I should. No. So, um, no, do you want, do you want to plug anything or anything? You want to talk about your handles or uh, anything coming out that you want to talk about besides the show or, or maybe the show you want to talk about? Uh, no, I got a movie about the paradise fires coming out this year. I got Chucky, which everybody associates me with I'm doing some movie in the Netherlands, I think, uh, in the fall. Um, but my deal isn't closed, so we don't know. And then, yeah. Oh, you know what people can do? Well, no, it doesn't matter because it's no longer running. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. Um, I try not to post too much because I think they're really bad. It's bad for, I think Instagram's really bad, man. <laughs> it's bad, but listen, it's something you have to put in its place. You want to post something, you have a certain attitude towards it. Which is what? And you post. Well, you post and then you don't look. You know, you you, you, you do something, you like something, or you comment, and then you just don't do it again. And then that's it. You can't keep incessantly going through Twitter and then, you know, Instagram and all these different things. Yeah. No. Yeah, and Twitter no. is the one for me. I like, 
I can get really wrapped up in Twitter. And and I also think it's it's not thorough thought, so it just kind of makes you dumber. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Instagram. I think it's mostly kids on it, and then it's like girls like comparing their body to people. All right. Yeah. It's really bad. It's not healthy. Do you but... get stuck on? Are you addicted to your phone at all? Well, a person can always look better, thinner. So I do get stuck on my phone, and um, I do get stuck uh, comparing myself to other people's bodies. But I'm pretty happy with my body. You like your body. I've got a six pad, and uh, I also have a strong shoulder blade. I only have one shoulder blade. Only. Oh, have the other one. Have the have the other one removed. It's a long story. I don't want to get into it. I mean, I told you a lot of personal stories. You can tell me one. I really can't think of one. Mm, mm, not really. Just like I said, I like prostitutes, cocaine, fine food, and working out. I'm basically a New Yorker. Did we go through the weirdest thing you've ever done? My like I said, yeah, I said I tried to... Mine. I think I think trying to stuff a cat into an ATM machine is pretty weird. I don't think I've ever been more weird. What? Listen, Fiona, I really must go. I have to be at Uber right. in twenty minutes. Right. Okay, I'll let you go. Hey, it was you really nice to meet you. Let me let me wrap it up here. And it's Fiona. How do you say your name again? Dorif. Dorif. Fiona Dorif. Fiona Dorif. Yeah, well, Fiona Dorif. I like that. And um, thank you for coming on the show. I'm Patrick Bateman. And uh, this has been Fiona Dorif. 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 Keep fucking it up. Dorif is pretty good. Do, do, how do you feel when I keep messing your name up? Do you, do you get bad? Yeah, what do you get? No, I feel sad. Doesn't matter, does it? I'm sure if I was around you more, I could get your name down. You think so? But, um, I have a problem with syllables. And that's the problem I have with the reading. Is I always, you know, I'm, I'm dyslexic and I'm also... You know, I have trust issues. Mm. So I don't trust when I read something. I have a trust issue with what I read. I don't actually believe in what I've read. So yeah. sorry about that. I have trust issues too. Well, listen, let's hang out again. We'll get some some of those rent-a-bikes. Get a, get a blanket. I don't know which blanket you used. I mean, you brought the blanket. He brought the blanket. So, you know, I'll bring a blanket myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Fiona. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful night. Talk to you soon.